Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Let's finish this battle and continue looking for Captain Gordon. Now you see we got these green geo symbols here, and we got this no entry geo, er, no, green geo panels, no entry geo symbol. And we got all these enemies surrounding us, so we're going to want to throw that onto the uh, geo panels there. So let's see, let's have my Bushi take care of that. Uh, let's see. Let's go there. Lift Geo Symbol, throw there. Now, you want to watch out for these guys, because their Gigantic Slash has a range of two, and the Mystic Blast has a range of three. So you want to kind of stay over towards this part of the battlefield there. Let's, uh, no, no, not you, Madaris. You're kind of useless. You're even more useless. I heard Madaris is even weaker than the normal vampire enemies that you can actually uh, recruit. Like, normal monsters that you could recruit by, like, throwing them into the geo, or base panel. So, okay, let's uh, soften those guys up. Hmm, how about you? No, no, I can't quite do that, but... Oh, well, this should be good enough anyway. I was going to say, I was going to try and use my violence uh, attack, but, uh, well, I guess I don't need to. Because, uh, yeah, it, ooh, this could be a problem. I don't want to line them up, because Mystic Blast can hit all of them there, too. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just have to live with it. Hmm. Let's go... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hmm. This is a problem. Ah, bullets from metal. I was going to use rapid fire, but uh, that gets the job done, too. Okay, just spread out a little bit there. Hmm. Let's see, can you take her out? Yeah, but then I'd be lined up with the other guys. Ah! I have an idea. Now, I'm not worried about my ninja being in range of those guys on that side, because he has such high evade that they won't be able to hit him anyway. Or at least not very much. So, okay, we got those. Okay. What can you do, Flan? What are they weak to? And then there's... They're weak to a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, why don't you get as far away from everyone else as you possibly can? And hopefully that will deal some good damage. Not bad, not bad. Okay, pass the turn. So yeah, basically you're trying to cut up in, in a way you're trying to crowd control these guys. Trying to cut off the supply lines, I guess. Please don't kill him. Thank you. Oh! Oh wait, no. Whew. I was gonna say, if all three of them ganged up on my uh He's not a ranger anymore, uh, Strider, yeah, that would have been a problem. Can you wall jump like Strider hear you? No. No, he cannot. That would be pretty badass, but no. No, it doesn't work like that. I played those games back in the day. They were pretty good. What do you mean you don't believe me? There was a time in my life when I played more than just JRPGs, viewers. Just not in recent years. That's all. Hmm. Okay, we do that. Yes. Okay, that'll work. And, let's see. Yeah, if I get, put you right there, then I'll get the job done. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, that'll do. Ha! Gotcha. Okay, one more. Let's have... Actually, you know what? I'm going to have Lahal do some other things. So, let's use Violent Storm! Yeah, axes are pretty powerful. Spears, not so much. Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, why are you using spears and fists when they're not really all that powerful? Well, fists are obviously useful for moving enemies around, especially in the item world. I think you pretty much have to have a, uh, a fist user. Spears, you could get away without using them, but I still like using the spears 
mostly for variety, but they're also useful because if you get your weapon skill in Spears up to rank, uh, what is it, 25, you can get a really good Spear later on. And Spears have range, and they have st some AoEs and good abilities. They're just not as good on the raw defense, that's all. Or, raw offense. Raw damage. So, but they have their uses. Wow, go fly! Oh, I didn't realize you were so far behind on levels. Okay, uh, let's see, how much more do we gotta go? Still gotta weaken those guys. So, let's pass the turn for now, and uh, let them bunch up a little more. And uh, have Flan wail on them a little bit. Uh, can you hit them from over there? No. No, not really. Hmm. Ah! But if I go over here... I can soften those guys up that way. Okay, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Let's put you over there. And... For now, let's still pass the turn. I'll have Etna take care... Let those guys bunch up a little more. And then we'll hit them all at once. One nice thing about the no entry geo effect is that even though you can't walk through it and you can't throw through it, you can attack through it. So, just something to keep in mind. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing that already so far in this battle. Well, that gets the job done. I hope that didn't kill any of them. Okay, good, good, because well, I want to kill them. Hmm, can I do this? If I do this, I'm going to need you to get out of the way, but that's fine. Actually, just go there. Please don't be on the base panel. Yes, okay, that'll do. Uh, I love annihilating the enemies to death. All the way to death, not halfway. They're, they're all dead, not mostly dead. Mostly dead is slightly alive. You can't even reach that far? What? Oh, okay. Because that was, uh... It looked a lot farther than it actually was. Hmm. Okay, let's go with that. Another King of Beasts ought to get the job done. Ha! Got you. Alright, got everyone up to... Aw, oh, man. Got everyone up to at least level 34, so we should be in pretty good shape. Can you... Well, I can soften that guy up with a... Oh, no, I can't. I was going to say use Pretty Raid, but no! Not today. Uh-oh. Ow. Well, we're still doing okay. Let's see, can my Bushy get in there? No. But I'll move her out anyway, just in case, I don't know, maybe I might not finish the guy off. Who knows? Oh, I love having a access to all these advanced abilities so early in the game. This is pretty much the reason why I went for all those arms masters. Because... Not, not even so much to get the weapon levels for, like, the stat boosts and all that stuff, but you get access to, like, level 10, level 15 abilities by the end of the game without grinding, and it's really good. That really helps out your uh, damage potential so much. So, okay, well, got a good start there. Let's sell that. Heal up, and move on to the next battle. Let's see if we can't find Captain Gordon. I wonder where he went, anyway. Gordon, is that you? What a landing! I guess Lady Luck is taking a vacation. Well, at least we know he's alive. That's right. Jennifer, Thursday! Eh, he's probably scrap metal by now. 
Hmm. It appears that we've been separated. How did you get thrown in? They that haven't been captured by the Overlord, have they? Yep. Even with Thursday's 200,000 horsepower engine, he can't take on the Overlord alone. I can't just sit here. I've got to save them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over 9,000. Hang in there. Just uh, trick him with your uh, feminine charm there. Okay, so. This battle. Actually, let's take a look at these guys. Let's see, they're both weak to fire, but he has high resistance. So that doesn't really help me out. Hmm. I'm looking for two of them with the same resistances, and it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Okay, never mind. Flan. Take out those two. If you don't have two of them that have matching elemental weaknesses, then don't worry about it. Just do what you can and move on with life. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh yeah. Eventually, I may want to use uh, Asteroid Drop or, what's that ability? Lion's Roar? I almost said Lion's Landing, but no, that's another game. Let's see, let's go there. But yeah, you see we got this attack and defense boosting panel, so obviously we want to take advantage of that. Here I, come. I like the music at Lion's Landing. That's a pretty good uh, area there. That's a nice little quest. Oh. I didn't expect you to actually kill them. But then again, I keep on doing that, don't I? Hmm. Let's see, why don't you go up there? Let's use something that has a slightly uh, shorter attack animation. Ha! And... Hmm. Ah, you're weak to ice! Not that I need the attack boost, but obviously the defense boost is helpful. And one more. Hmm. Could probably kill that guy with a King of Beasts, but well, let's give it a try. See, almost 600 damage. I mean, okay, that's not nearly as good as swords are, but well, you take what you can get. Yeah, just like having some variety in my characters. I mean, if I had everyone using swords, that would be boring. Gotta calm down. You're getting a little tri trigger happy there, Nasgard. Uh, hmm. Well, I think you could probably kill him. Yeah, yeah, you got him. So you want to start killing these eight guys here. And then, there's some other guys in the back. I don't know if you could see them before, but, uh... Oh, they're there. They're there. Let's move you there. Move you up there. Let's move you to the back. But still staying in the same area. And now we'll wait for them to come to us. And let's pass the turn again. You see, this is why the enemies weren't rushing us earlier in the game, because now I'm just going to totally ambush them. Wow! Yeah, you see? Look at those spears. Look at that damage. Hmm. Okay, what do we got now? Ooh, that guy's pretty strong. He's even got a, uh... Yeah, he's got Wind Cutter. Holy cow. We're going to want to take him out pretty fast. Hmm, let's see. Let's put you there. Let's try and soften the guy up a little bit. Will that work? That'll work. Bite the dust. Yeah, you want to take out that guy with the wind cutter really fast, because he can hit multiple characters at a time. Hmm. I suppose my uh, elite ninja could finish him. And that's what I'm going to do. Even if I, uh, they ambush him, he's got the evade to be able to handle it. Okay, hmm. Ah! Let's see, your resistance is pretty high, so we're not going to be able to kill you. But I might be able to kill that guy. Yeah, okay. 
Let's go with a good ice spell. Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, why do you keep on putting those orbs on Fawn there when other characters might be able to use them more? And, well, the reason is because, well, orbs have a tendency to come with teachers, which is a really good... Uh -oh. Goodbye, Fawn. Nuts. Well, don't worry, that doesn't count as an ally kill. I'm not going to re-record just for that. But yeah, um, she's not really equipping them for the SP so much as she's equipping them for either teachers or just to have something with arms masters. I mean, yeah, I could equip them on my ninja or uh, Bushi there. Hmm. Let's let him come to us. Yeah, now I got so much money, I don't care about revival costs. Oh, crap! I didn't think about that. Okay, phew! So yeah, but the other thing is that, yeah, look at that aptitude with uh, the spell power. She's not going to really be able to take advantage of it that much. Oh, wow, he's pretty strong. Uh, Etna, work your magic. See, I just prefer to keep them on fun. I mean, you could rearrange them however you want. You don't have to use my exact setup. I just, well, I just like doing it that way. But will Captain Gordon be happy to see us all together? Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.